Hey you guys, hey you guys, this is your girl, the real true divine feminine here and I come with a quick little message for you guys and my message to the, you guys is some folks really thought that they had you confused. Some folks really thought that you didn't know what was going on behind the scenes because you did not address the situation. Some folks really thought that they was pulling wools over your eyes from your family to your fake friends to family members that you don't even care nothing about. These folks really thought that they were going to get away with stealing from you, frauding your name, lying on your name. These folks really thought this. These folks really thought that you were dumb, simple-minded, and that they can handle you any kind of way. They thought that they could mistreat you, and you was going to lay down and let them do whatever they wanted to do to you. These folks are so jealous and envious of you, your calling on your life, and where God is trying to take you till it don't make no sense. These folks have told multiple lies upon you. I'm talking about if you would hear the stuff, these people drag you, talked about all kind of stuff, talk about you had health conditions, you was all on drugs, you was doing all of that, and can pass a half follicle test, and they can't. Can show your my chart, and they can't. Everything that these people was talking about you was them. They said that you were crazy. You had mental issues. It's them been taking medicine since they was young for their mental issues. They said that your, that, that your health wasn't good and it's their health. They said that, that you was an awful person and it's them. They tried to project their life up into your life. They wanted people to see you in a hurtful, harmful way and see them in light. But guess what? That's one thing about God. I don't care what I don't have. That's why I'm going to always praise him. Because he's going to always allow the truth to be told. He's going to always allow the truth to be seen. And baby, when I tell you God is exposing the truth, they had a lot of folks put their mouth on you and didn't even know you. They had a lot of folks coming to you against you. Because listening to other people, they had a lot of folks doing a lot of things that should have never been done to you. Because of jealous, jealousy, envious, malice, and pure hatred. But baby, see that mighty man that I call Jesus has showed up and showed out. And baby, he is vindicating you public, publicly. See, let me tell you something. It's not an m- amount of money nor cash that these folks can come and give you to fix the wrong that they have done to you in your life. See, lying and saying people's going to pass away because they have STDs and stuff and people never have none of that, that is sad. That is trifling. That is no earthly good. That is a low blow. That is crazy. But also, stealing from people on top of that, putting people in false cases, trying trying to intercept people's money, defrauding people's identity all this stuff that was done to you to try to break you to humiliate you to put you away but baby let me tell you when i tell you you have been vindicated and you're going to be vindicated by the justice system also you see because some of you guys had a lot of stuff done to you that you didn't know nothing about but god is bringing it all to the forefront He's let all of it be seen. You see, folks knew they could never compete with you. They could never be you. They could never do that. So they had to come up with a plan. A group of them had to come up with a plan, your family, your exes, your friends, to stop you. You know why? They felt like if they could isolate you and not allow you to get the love that was meant for you to do, then they won. But see, what they didn't know is that you love yourself enough for whoever didn't love you. You respected yourself enough for who didn't respect you. You appreciated yourself enough for who didn't appreciate you. See, you tolerated your own self so it didn't matter who couldn't tolerate you. These people forgot. While they was painting up all these illusions on you, they forgot who you really were and who you had been your whole life. They forgot that this was in you and not on you. So they tried. 
They tried their hardest to destroy you. But God's grace and his mercy, it carried you. They wanted to destroy your character. They wanted to destroy your spiritual gifts. They wanted you to take your life. They wanted you to take yourself out of here because they wanted what God had for you. See, folks, let me tell you something. Nobody can never take what God has for you. It could be delayed, but I promise you on everything I love, it ain't never denied. Folks be thinking they living your lifestyle, living your dream because that's what you were supposed to do and you supposed to be. Guess what? The race is not given to the swift, but to the one who endured to the end. Baby, guess what? You endured everything that you was placed against you, you endured. Every giant, you knocked down. Every mountain, you went over. Every valley, it probably was deep, but you crossed it. Everything that they thought that they threw your way that could hurt you, harm you, distract you, keep you stuck and stagnant. Baby, you overcame it. Because you're an overcomer. Because none of this stuff was meant to you. These folks forgot who you were when you were a child. They forgot who you were. They forgot what was inside of you because of the illusions they thought that they was placing on you and they was really placing on their own life. Now God is vindicating you in a lot of people's eyes. There's going to be a lot of people want to come back. Baby, let me tell you something. There's going to be a lot of family members try to come be friendly, child. When I say friendly, I'm talking about friendly. Shut them down. Shut it down. Quick, fast, and I heard it. I wouldn't even respond. You heard me? I wouldn't even answer the phone. I wouldn't even answer the door. I would sit right there and let them knock. I wouldn't do any of that. Because there's going to be a lot of them. They want to come back and apologize. A lot of them, the same ones, they were spreading the lies, believing the lies. Fed information. Excuse me. Fed information of folks and all the rest of this. Baby was a group of them. They came against you. A lot of them came against you. You heard me? They can't beat you so now they want to join you. Negative. Negative. Ne- when I say negative, big negative. You know how they was lying and saying you was negative with a lot of stuff? No, you was positive. How they was lying and saying you was positive with a lot of stuff? Well, guess what, baby? Guess what? You about to be negative with them because you could care less what these folks have going on in their life. You don't care nothing about these folks. When I say nothing, nothing. Not a single thing about these folks. Baby, you could care less if these folks are living or passing. You don't care. You don't care. These folks should have left you alone. These folks should have left well enough alone. You know the old people used to say don't burn the bridge that you might have to cross again. These folks, if this, man, if this was your family, and some of y'all, it was family. If this was your family came against you like this, maybe your family going to suffer. You going to suffer for everything you did. You going to cry. Baby, they going to cry. You heard me? Because guess what? Them same families that came against you, God is allowing them families to be your footstool. You will win. You heard because it's in you to win. They gonna pay you in tears. I promise you, everything that they said against you is gonna be the truth about them. Everything they wished against you is coming against them. Right now, you got folks laying in the bed, can't get out the bed, body rocking in pain. If it ain't them, it's somebody that they love. They mama, they granny, they auntie, they uncle, half, half of them, maybe even their damn child, whoever it is. They came up against you. I promise you, the tears, they, the tears that you shared for the things that you was going through, I promise you, them tears gonna be way worse than what you shared. And that's on my soul. I promise you, that's what's gonna happen. That's gonna happen because that's what they wanted for you. They gotta pay attention. That's why I tell folks all the time. I got to get in your word and read your word. The Bible says the least you do unto one of mine shall be done unto you. It says touch not my anointed and do my prophet or prophet is no harm. I didn't say that. The word says that. Everything you face within life, get in your word and read your word and it'll tell you about it. 
See, these people want to be first so bad. And they was first for a long, long time. They was first. But in the Bible, it says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And baby, it's your time. Right here, right now, it's your time. That's why they wanted you to shut up. That's why they try to paint these illusions over your mind. That's why they told people you were crazy. That's why they didn't want to speak because they knew you was gifted. They knew the gift that was they knew the gift that was inside of you. They knew once you was gonna get to talking, baby, you wasn't gonna be quiet because everything was gonna come back to your memory and to your forefront and you was gonna let the truth be told. And that's not what they wanted. They wanted everything hidden, hidden about these children, hidden about the incest in their family, hidden about the stolen money, hidden Hitting about who your real daddy was, who your real mama is, hitting about all kind of stuff. They didn't want nobody to tell the truth about the situation. See, but what they fell to realize is when they started doing stuff to you and trying to block you, God had a resource and a way for you to still get what he needed to get to you so that you could speak. So somebody, if you couldn't speak your truth, somebody else was going to be able to deliver the truth to you so you could know what your family did, what your fake friends did, what your ex-lovers did, whoever these people were that paid a part in trying to destroy you and lying on you and assassinating your character and doing all the rest of this stuff. They told a lot of lies on you. A lot. I'm telling you, listen, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I love, there is no possibly way in heaven or hell, I will lose my government job because I dislike someone. You hear me? It's a big difference between beefing with somebody and disliking somebody. See, when you're beefing with somebody and they don't know that you got beef with them, they're going to do everything that they possibly can to try to destroy that person. See, but when you dislike somebody, I just don't like you. I don't fool with you, so I don't want to be around you. But you see, these people were beefing with you. They didn't dislike you. They was beefing with you because of who you were. So that's why they told all these lies. That's why they losing their government job. That's why they losing nursing license. Listen, I'm telling y'all, somebody, a whole nurse practitioner out here, about to lose their nurse practitioner license by coming against you. Somebody is a whole police officer detective about to lose their license by coming against you. Somebody is a whole attorney. Man, you know how much study you ain't got to do for that stuff? Because I looked into it. I say, oh, not me. Somebody is a whole attorney, bro. Attorney. About to get this bored. Could never practice again. Man, listen, it's no way, y'all know how hard school is, oh my God, if I could just tell y'all, do you know how hard it is to study, especially if you got kids and number the responsibilities and no help, bro, school is so, take it from me, school is so stressful and so hard, man, we, we fight like hell to get these degrees being debt and everything to get these degrees, bruh. And these folks threw their degrees away that they fa- that they had to study and do all that for just to come against you. Just to bring you down, to throw shade and hate on you, not for you to get what God got for you. These people want it so bad for you to lose, but God say. You gonna win so so bad in front of these people's faces, bruh. These people didn't want you to have the love, the money, nothing that was owed to you. These people had beef with you. These people really fumbled. Man, I'm telling you, listen. Look, they got this woman, this older woman, y'all. This older woman, she in so much of regret for what she did to you. It's ridiculous. Listen, I've seen I ain't hearing nothing she's saying. I'm seeing I'm looking at her lips, asking you for forgiveness, asking you for all the rest of this. Look, it's hard. 
she tried her hardest to get me to say, I ain't saying nothing she saying because I don't care about nothing she talking about because she shouldn't have did what she did. You did what you did and you got to stand on what you did. Man, listen, I'm telling y'all, they got a lot of people in regret. They got a lot of people in regret. People going to jail, bro. I can't, I can't, I, look. People is, I'm not lying. No, I lie. People not going to jail. They not going to jail. They going to prison. Because jail is a different place from prison. These people going to prison. These people going to prison. This is crazy. It's no way I'm going to lose my stuff by trying to beef and bully with somebody else. I don't know who this message is for, but it's your girl, the real true divine family. I hope this message help who it needs to help and bless who it needs to bless and reach who it needs to reach. If you are this person that has been, all this stuff has been done to, baby, who waiting on that book to drop? It's me. Who going to buy one? It's me. Who going to support you? It's me. Because you know what? You had a lot of stuff done to you. Oh, yeah. You had a lot of stuff done to you. But guess what, baby? You unfazed, unbothered. They could not steal what was in you. And you keep being true to who you are. You keep showing your life. You keep pressing forward. I would tell you to keep healing, but baby, you healed already. Congratulations, my love. When they thought they broke you, they awoke you. Be blessed.